Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys some pictures I took with my Alpha 33. The reason I haven't got the review to you guys so far is because I've had midterms, so uh, I'm just going to show you guys some pictures on iPhoto. Now this is iPhoto 11, if you guys are wondering. It came with my MacBook. Um, so here's one picture. Um, there's my snowboard. And next picture is, um, that was Photoshop Elements Effect, um, and, let's see, that was kind of blurry because it was in the dark, but, um, that's a better one. That's a macro, which I took with a zoom lens on my Alpha 33. Um, so my dad, let's see here, um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, there's one, I really like that one. There's my dad in the car, which I also took with a zoom lens, which was kind of cool, because I didn't know zoom lenses could take pictures that close. Um, there's a picture of my dad's eye with the, you can see the depth of field there. Um, oh, I had the depth of field at about 5.6. But I zoomed it in all the way. So, yeah. Um, oh, here's my one. Okay. So, the reason most of these pictures look like really low contrast is because most of the days I took them were cloudy and it actually looked like that. Um, yeah, there's just a random picture of the road. I kind of just like the, like a natural vignette. Barn. Yeah, so, let's see here, oh, here we have some, um, this was a visit to my mom's friend in the country, so, here's an old fire truck, yeah, I've got a little bit of some depth of field aperture, kind of large aperture, um, I think it was four, which is large for zoom lens, um, Hmm, yeah, here's another one. And this was a really good one. Um, I didn't color correct it at all either. So, yeah, it's a pretty good one. Um, oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, I also didn't color correct this at all. Uh, let me just find some. Okay. Dog park. There's one I took, the dog park, no color correction. Took this one, no color correction also. Uh, of course, that was no color correction. Uh, oh, here's a nice macro that's also not color corrected. Um, aperture 4. Um, so here's some low light pictures. It was really dark in there. Let's see. It's pretty, it's, uh, also keep in mind that my mom took these, so she doesn't really have a very steady hand, so they're kind of blurry. Um, yeah, which is actually pretty good, because the, like, it was darker in there than what it looks like right now. Yeah, that's with some Photoshop elements correction. Oh, Great Falls, there we go. I live about 20 minutes away from Great Falls, so it's a great place to learn how to take pictures and stuff. This was actually the first week I had the camera. There it is. That's my best slow shutter so far, and I can't say it's very good because the rocks are a little bit blurred, it's not very sharp, but um, if I had a tripod, that would have probably turned out very good. Um, so just experimenting with the camera on some of these. Pretty nice picture. It was also cloudy this day. It seems that every day I take pictures, it's cloudy, so that's why the contrast is usually off. This is the only time that it wasn't cloudy, actually. Oh, th no, this is the edited picture. I'm rambling on now. I'm going to get back to Top Gear Marathon, of course, the United Kingdom version. So, um, yeah, I'll give you guys another video soon, so thanks for watching.